Hello guys, we're back. And today, what I'm doing here is I got my tools out. I'm working on my Dodge 92 Dodge Cummins. And we're working on getting this injection pump out. I don't know if you guys have been able to see that or not, but that's what we're working on. And I'm doing this, even though I really have no idea what I'm doing. This is my first diesel motor that I've started working on. Um, the injection pump itself has been leaking, so even though I have no earthly idea what I'm doing, I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to work on rebuilding this thing. Um, so, first thing I did, and is because I still had it, a lot of guys don't, I had to remove the top plate right here, which conveniently sets up here on top of the motor, on top of the cylinder heads. So, the reason why I had to remove this was so that way I can get to my fuel lines right here. So, first thing I got to do is remove those fuel lines and get them out of the way. Some of the fuel lines sit right in between these two uh, cylinder head covers. And the others sit right back in here. So the there's a few things that you gotta do to remove those. They got a bunch of retaining clips. Uh, this is one of the locations. This is another location to the retaining clips. Uh, I didn't have to remove the top of it, the top of the injection pump, but I did anyways. Um, there is a couple of, I took the dipstick out, there's a few electrical connectors that I had to remove, uh, they're all over the place, I had to remove the throttle cables, I have all the nuts, bolts, everything sitting over there on that table. To remove these fuel lines, I had to remove these, which go to my engine block heater, um, my uh, intake heater. I had to remove the connectors from these two sensors, and the list goes on. Um, but I'm learning, and this is how you learn. Just do it on your own. Uh, anything you run into questions with, there's always people out there that's willing to answer your questions. Um, I've learned that. Uh, I've got this bolt taken off, the bolt back here taken off. There's a bolt down here underneath the pump that I got taken off. Um, I got fuel lines here taken off. Um, I got, if you come over here, this is the oil filler neck. And I get this taken off. This is a two piece and twist off right here. And then twist off down here. So that way we can get down in here to get to the injection pump drive shaft. Uh, which is gear driven. Um, got washer and bolt come off of that. Um, got a little plumbing elbow come off the motor right over here to make space for when I pull it out. Um, 
fuel lines, more fuel lines. These were from the back of the motor, as I formerly told you guys about. Um, this is all new to me, but you know, somebody's got to do it, right? Um, since I've been laid off of work, I've been on unemployment, so I don't exactly have the money to go to take it to a mechanic and have them do it, so I have to do it myself, save costs, which a lot of you guys, you know, I understand, you guys save costs. Um, I should have started this video when I first started taking things apart to show you guys step by step everything that I was doing. Um, if you look down here, I got the intake tube from the intercooler up to the air intake on the motor. Um, I've run into a sticky situation where I didn't know what to do next. So I started asking around and it appears as though I need to get a steering wheel puller to pull this drive shaft, the injection pump drive shaft, out of the gear. Um, another thing that I had to do for this uh, for this job, I had to buy me some special set of wrenches called S wrenches. Because the nut on the bottom of the injection pump, which is this one right here, that hold it to the motor, I couldn't get to it. There's two ways to get to it. Uh, I didn't. I picked the ladder and I bought some special pair of wrenches to get to this thing so much easier with those wrenches I'm telling you uh, other than that I would have had to take the power steering pump off probably had to take the timing cover off and which involves a whole lot of work that really I didn't want to get into um, you see in this piece here because it just got off the phone um, but Nonetheless, I did a lot of work. I got all my tools out. Don't know what I'm needing. So I just have them all just in case. Because I'm learning. I'm figuring this out. Um, so if you guys got any questions, any comments, want to know anything, anything that I may have missed, um, let me know. I'll walk you guys through it. Um, I'll make a whole other video on how to take all this stuff off. Another uh, tool that I had to get um, was a line wrench. I got a 15, 17 line wrench. I got need the 17 millimeter to take these pieces off right here uh, so that way I can pull them off the injectors and pull them off the back of the injection pump um, again if you guys got any comments um, please if you guys know anything that I don't know please put it down there in the comments um, another thing to uh, go down there Hit that subscribe button, hit the share button, let everybody see this. Um, if you got any comments, any advice uh, that I may need in the future uh, for whenever I do stuff like this, any advice is good advice. Um, if you got any questions about how I did anything, um, locating these things, taking these things off, let me know, and I will 
make a video especially for that to walk you through it to whatever now when I go to put this thing back together it'll all be in reverse of how I took it apart I'm probably gonna go ahead and make a video of that so that way I can make sure that I touch base on everything I did to take it all apart um, this is uh, part of the reason why I really haven't been making any videos. I've been working on this here and there uh, a few hours a day here and there. Um, but I'm getting things moving. I'm getting things going. And, um, you know, I appreciate it that, you know, you guys join me. So, to cut this video short, go down there, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification right next to it. Um, like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't like it. Um, post comments, share the video all around, and that's what I'm going to say, you know, the reason why you should subscribe to my channel is because you never know what's going to happen on Bob Dill videos. Bob Dill out.